Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to optimize one of the previous videos. We did um, a load more and an infinite scroll with Livewire 3 and Alpine JS. Uh, but the data that was loaded was loaded every time we scrolled down or hit the load more button. Uh, there were a few comments about that on the uh, YouTube comments and on Twitter and some other places. Uh, but you're totally right. Um, the scope of the, the videos were to showcase the yeah the functionality of AlpineJS and Livewire. But we will optimize that with an offset and a limit in our eloquent query. So let's dive into it. All right, so this was the application that we created previously. We are scrolling down and whenever we hit 50% of the div here that says load more by scrolling, it loads a few more items into the data list. All right, this was actually the code that we used. We had an amount of 10 and whenever the hit load more function was triggered, we loaded 10 more and we just uh, used um, users take the amount get. Well, this causes all the previous ones that were already loaded to be loaded again. So let's optimize this. First of all, um, I'm going to add a few more things here. I'm going to take um, in account the uh, times that the page has loaded extra items. And I'm also going to create a public property for the users. So let's call it all users with a capital U, all users, and that may be empty for now. And instead of changing the amount, I'm actually going to use this loads because we're actually going to update the loads whenever we hit that um, function, the amount of loads that are performed. And I'm going to add a new property here, new users. And the new users is actually users, sorry, user. And we're taking an offset of this amount, whoops, amount multiplied by this loads. So every time it was loaded. So for the first time, it will be 10 um, times zero. So it will be zero. And we're going to limit it, limit it with uh, this um, amount. Like that. And we're going to throw a get after that to actually get those um, amounts. And whenever we do this, let me just, whoops, put that in here for a moment. We refresh and we're running into an error. What did I do here? What is the error? Um, amount does not exist. Whoops, uh, this amount. Oh, okay, amount is the function, of course. I don't know if you noticed, but this was one for a very brief second. So if I inspect this, the, the, yeah, the DOM will be much shorter. So I have one and if I close this again, it, this gets loaded, but it's still in scope. So it doesn't load again. Um, so now we have 11 instead of one and yeah, but we don't want that because we also want number one until 10 still being there. Right? So instead of doing this, we're going to use the public property that we created before all users. So this all users equal to, and for the first time, we're going to actually use the shorthand of an if statement here. If this loads is zero equals to zero, uh, we'll, uh, yeah, just take in the new users like that. But if it's not, we're actually going to yeah merge the two collections that we have. So all users, and there is a merge function on top of um, Eloquent for us, and we will be merging the new users into the all users collection. And then we can just set the data value to this all users. And if we run that again, number one, all right, number 10 was loaded by default. So these were loaded by default and 11 until 20. If I scroll down, I have 21 until 30, 31 until 40, and so on. So that's actually how we can optimize our previous two videos, the load more and the infinite scroll ones with not taking all the data from the database every single time we yeah, actually load more items and only load those extra items for us. Um, again, the previous videos were only to showcase the functionality in Livewire and AlpineJS uh, to, to load more data 
um, or do something else with the Intersect API of Alpine. Um, so I hope this clarifies a few things uh, and I hope you learned something from this as well and I will see you in one of the next videos. Take care, bye bye.